Today's video is about the extra measures we need to put in place for our small animals when the weather gets hot. Most animals suffer with the heat, but small animals in particular struggle to regulate their body temperatures and need some help from us. Sadly, heat stroke is common in small animals. Firstly, let's look at guinea pigs. The first thing to consider with piggies is to bring them inside if they usually live outside. Indoors is almost always cooler than out, and something a lot of people don't realise is that hutches and sheds can quickly rise to into the high 30 degrees Celsius, even in the shade on a hot day. Secondly, it's important to ensure they have constant access to cool water and that you provide hydrating veggies and fruit throughout the day. Guinea pigs cannot eat frozen or thawed foods, so these must come from the fridge only. Next, wherever they are, they must remain in full shade. If indoors, close the curtains. If outside, use parasols or gazebos to create extra shade for them. These may need to be moved throughout the day as the sun moves. It's also a good idea to trim any long-haired guinea pigs to help them to stay cool. Lastly, place several ice packs or frozen water bottles into their enclosure with them. Always wrap the ice pack in fleece or a towel, and remember to check and replace them as they thaw out. Next, let's talk about gerbils and hamsters. As these guys are prolific chewers, what we can and can't put into their enclosure is a little different. Firstly, ensure that they always have access to cool, clean water and keep the curtains closed in the room that they live in. Keeping direct sunlight out can make a big difference. Secondly, give them cold sand in their sand bath. Keeping it in the fridge overnight before a hot day really helps it to stay cool for a long time. As gerbils and hamsters are desert animals, they should never get wet, so cool sand to bathe in is the next best thing for them. Next, give them some hydrating veg and fruit on hot days. As these guys are so little, a tiny piece is all that they need. Too much can cause digestion issues, but a little can be very helpful on a hot day. Gerbils and hamsters really benefit from cold tiles or mugs to sit on or in as well. Keep these in the fridge overnight and place them in their enclosure so that they can choose to sit on them if they need. This can also work using smooth pebbles. Lastly, ice packs can be a big help. I do not recommend putting them inside with them as they will chew on them and they could ingest the plastic. Putting some lean in against one end of the glass tank to help cool underground is really helpful. I also lie a blanket over the top of the cage and place a larger ice pack on top of that for the cool air to sink into their cage. I find this to be especially important for hamsters who may sleep buried in their bedding all day and so never get the benefit of any of the other measures we put in at all. Lastly, I'll cover chinchillas. Chinchillas have one of the densest furs in the world and are from high in the Andes mountains, which means that chinchillas are especially sensitive to heat, to the point that anything above 24 degrees can actually be fatal for them. Because of this, all chinchilla owners need a portable air conditioning unit for them, and it has to be the type with a hose leading to the outside for it to work. In addition to this, chinchillas can benefit from cold tiles or pebbles placed in their cages on hot days. Keep them in the fridge overnight and they will stay cold nicely throughout the day. As always, ensure your chinchillas have constant access to cool, fresh water. Lastly, give your chinchillas cold sand in their sand bath. Again, keep the sand in the fridge overnight and it provides a great way for them to cool off. I hope this video has been useful and it helps you to keep your fur babies safe in the heat. Thank you for watching.